What's up, everybody? Welcome back to What They Want Sexy. See, see, this is this, this is why we get clips like this. In the but that's not everybody. So then I post anyway. What up, everybody? Because so I'm excited. But the same way you told me I was yelling last episode right. is what you're doing right now. You're right. You're right. Playing. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to What They Won't Say, and I'm officially the darkest nigga in this podcast. <laughs> I am one of the hosts, UA, and I'm here with. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, okay. Me first, Becky second. Yes. Alright, let's go. What's up, everybody? Damn it. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go again. Five. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to What They Won't Say, and I'm officially the darkest nigga in this podcast. Look, I am. Like a... <laughs> We're introduce you. <laughs> You just sit down like, I'm getting each and every one of these. I'm gonna make sure I get each and every one of these. So. Let's just get the layout together before we even okay, start. Okay, so let's, let's figure this out. You, so. then you, then me. Then we would introduce. You, would you like to introduce him? I will introduce him. There we go. And when I say today, we are here with that's me. Mm-hmm. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to What They Won't Say, and I'm officially the darkest nigga in this podcast. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, mm-hmm. UA. And I'm here with Becky with the I gang gang, gang. gang. And this is your girl Courtney Lynette. And today we got a special guest. We are joined by C D S Double E D Double E. Hey. C D. And he is here to talk about his product. CD's oil. C D's oils. I've been waiting to say it the whole time. <laughs> See these oils. I've been waiting. I'm excited. Shut <laughs> So, as you guys know, we do a spotlight on black businesses in the area. And it just so happens that a lot of people we went to high school have started their own business. So, shout out to Broughton for breeding some winners. Um, and I thought the night. What? Don't throw up nothing. I was gonna throw up a B, but no, bro, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. So, CD, mm-hmm. <laughs> as we talk about your business and your brand, tell us a little bit about what your oil line was designed for. What inspired it? Um, well, I have hair. Okay, as start. you can see, that's a mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so lot. Mm-hmm. But, um, the lady who used to do my hair, or she still does it from time to time and does my uh, my girl hair, she taught, well, kind of introduced me to oils or, man, you know, gave me the idea to look into oils, and I ran with it. I mean, um, a lady at her job started using the oils. She had patches from psoriasis, and um, she just was like, hey, my hair's growing. In the oil, and I've been slamming that shit ever since. <laughs> hey, hey. So, Gary, oils are all hair products? No, nah, it's all natural essential oils. So, therefore, you can use it on your skin, you can use it on your head, you can use it on. Oh, you it's like that African way. It's all the same. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's more convenient when you buy it from somebody than going and buy all, all the different products and stuff. Right. Okay. That's dope. So do you make the oils yourself or do you work with a vendor? Me. Okay. okay. Out your kitchen? All right. Not necessarily out his kitchen. I don't really know. I'm not being racist. I promise. Cook that shit up, Z. Okay. Right. Or yeah. maybe out his kitchen I shit. Like I don't know. <laughs> um, how long have you had the business going? Um. Well, I've been going on almost like a year, almost two years as far as selling it. But uh, as far as like pushing it like business-wise, it's been about a year. And okay. even even in here right now, you just made a sale, didn't you? I get you face to face, and so mm-hmm. that's the easiest way to sell something. Right now. Oh, the best way too. Yeah. So, how would people view your product? Do you have a website? Is it on your social medias? Um, well, see, that's a tricky part. I'm still <laughs> in the process of uh, figuring things out as far as a website or page or whatever. But you can always contact me on by any means, CD. On Instagram and CD Right on Facebook. All right, make sure you text that to me so when I put Spell it, in, it out for him again. I didn't 
this fella out. Wait, you did. C D S double E D double E. All right, you right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got he, he just wanted us to do it. Yeah. That's what that was. <laughs> so if y'all need a link to him, y'all be able to find it in the description below. As well as all of us, but you know, definitely in the description. Yep. Below. But let me tell y'all niggas something. Oh Jesus. When y'all when y'all message him, just because he black. Don't be asking for oh, his yes. products on the low. Whatever he tell you his price is, buy that shit or don't. Like, it's just plain and simple. Don't be like, yo, can I get a discount? Because I went to Broughton the year after you graduated. No, nigga, it's not how that works. Buy his shit. I'm going to tell you to see these nuts. I'm going to respond anyway, so it didn't matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. As our spotlight business owner, you also... We also kind of use you a little bit because okay. now you get to be our co-host okay. on on today's episode. Okay. Now, I should forewarn you that we have a tendency to start on relationships and end in politics. We just never know where the conversation takes us. Yeah. So, welcome to today's shit show. Okay. Good day. Good day. So, what y'all got on the agenda today? We talking about relationships. We talking about what we talking about. So remember. I was talking to I was talking to y'all and I thought this was fun. You remember what I was talking about earlier? Or what I put in the um chat the chat? The health one? No, not that one. That's CDs? Uh, no. Okay, what me. is a spaceship? Sexy? Oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What is sexy? See, what, what is, is sexy? sexy? That's the question of the That's day. a good that was a good These question. These things don't pay attention. Nope, not at all. Nope. At all. So it's like what is sexy? Like that's my question. Okay, okay, so what is sexy? In, I don't know. In regards to what? In regards, exactly. In regards, just period. Like, what is sexy? Like, what is sexy to you? Like, what is sexy? Like, if if we're talking sexy, are we talking bedroom action? Or are we talking, you know, just getting dressed in? That's a convoluted right question, though, because... That's we, what? First of all, I'm sick of you using big words. Yeah, God damn, T.I. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but she been in our management too long. That's what it is. She been in our management too long. I get you. Been reading though. I get you. Every time. Yo, she does this every episode. Okay, so that's a loaded question. Yeah, are we no talking about words. what's sexy in the bedroom, or are we talking about what's sexy out in public? Because my definition of sexy for either realm could be different. You know, so I asked that part. Mm-hmm. That was the first thing. Well, can't nobody hear you because you sound like Barry White. Yeah, so you just. You sound very white. <laughs> <laughs> he always had, he's always had that like, I mean, I'm yeah. good, but um, damn. Just, just like CD, CD always been chilling. Yo, was First crazy. of all, he walked in the house. Everybody looked at him. He like, what up? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, raising up. I'm to get my voice that deep. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it only happened when I don't talk for a minute. But now that the question is out there, which section... Are we? Which, that, which like, one are we talking? Okay, so um, throw, out, throw out one part. Like, if somebody, okay, okay, let's go like this way. No, we're not even gonna do it like that. Let's go like if a guy sees you, right? Let's say you got on what you got on right now. By the way, speaking of what you got on, because like I said, I was hey. on good. Hey, hey, what? What's the question, Malik? Oh, we don't want to talk about what we're gonna talk no. about. No. No. You ain't gonna let me do it. No. 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 It's okay. I will Nick Cannon Carlos Miller you. <laughs> he got fired. He got fired. He got fired when he quit. That's oh, when he came back next season. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, you can do it. I'm just kidding. So, Courtney Titties are back, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> they were cold the they last were, couple of yeah. episodes. They had to come back out and breathe this yeah. episode. <laughs> so, <laughs> just so y'all know. That. All I see is this. <laughs> but, so, all right. But no, seriously. Okay, so let's say you let's say you go past somebody and somebody walks at you and you do you feel like you're sexy right now? No, that's okay. why I said I wouldn't go. So off somebody, after I this, but that's my point. I'm always sexy. Yeah, I'm dead sexy. Okay, and see, that's what I'm talking about. So, what is sexy? You like if you're if somebody says you're sexy right now and you don't feel that way, what would make you sexy? That's not true. Mm-hmm. No, that's not true either. Because lately, I've been going out a lot more often without makeup. Make it. I 
mean, I've seen me naked, so I, I can mean, vouch for that. Well, we just but, had a conversation about going out, and the first thing you said was, I didn't want to go out because I didn't have my lashes, I didn't have an outfit to go out in, and I didn't have makeup. But let me explain. So, I, so I think I see what she's getting at. That's just how I feel about myself today because I have acne today. Like, I've been breaking out, so I don't want to just go out there with. Because you're drinking too much Kool Aid. Is that a reference to my blueberry rebel? <laughs> <laughs> so, fuck you and everything you stand for right now. But. <laughs> so, again, that means you have to get dressed or you have to feel or get in a certain type of mood to feel sexy. I, yeah, I have to feel a certain type of way to I feel mean, like I'm sexy. Said, I'm sexy. We're right always now. sexy. Yeah. Congratulations. Bad so it doesn't matter. Mean, no, I'm but what I'm saying, saying is like, so for you, that means you have to get into a sexy mood to feel sexy. Possibly. That is such a kind of thing on this show. Okay, Dr. Phil, we got to the bottom of it? Yeah, it's your show. <laughs> By the way, somewhere in the middle of here, a piece is going to arrive. Just so y'all know. So what is sexy to you? Like, what makes you... What does it for you? Like for another, per- like sexy to me, to- for another person to like. Apparently, this question is only regarding yourself. yourself, and y'all already answered that. Oh yeah. So. Good. Well, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I mean, when I put clothes on, though. Like any kind of clothes. So, no, nah, like when I actually like wear dress clothes, up, dress up, yeah. like dress up. So you got to be in a certain mood too. Nah. So, so if a girl looked at you I, right now, me said, personally, I, me personally, I'm always sexy. Right. Uh-huh. But I get more compliments when I put on clothes. Well, then I guess like that's everybody. See, then. No, I don't wear clothes. Like okay, so this is me twenty four seven. Like <laughs> sweatpants. Yeah, I'm gonna say, you got sweatpants and a sweatshirt. Yeah, you know. yeah. So we got okay. So we're talking about ourselves personally. What about you? Me? Yeah. Hey, look. If you know anything about me, I am one confident person. So mm-hmm. I think that I am sexy at all times. But I, I agree with CD that like when I dress up, it's kind of like yeah, I'm in there. But I but I think I look good right right now. I'm still in a sweatshirt. But that's different. Like I think I'm cute right now, but I don't feel sexy because that's not what I'm trying to exude. I think sexy is a mood. You don't. I'm sorry. That was another one. My bad. <laughs> so I don't I'm gonna have to I feel like I'm gonna have to give, I'm gonna have to give you like yeah, y'all can't me. you can't be hanging out we're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna let y'all get the words at the bottom with the definition yeah yeah definitely yeah cause she just throwing random shit out and we gotta be like what I think for sexy everybody it's a mood no, for I everyone I don't you ain't gotta dumb it down I yeah. don't think I think that everybody might feel like they look good 24-7 half of y'all niggas don't but that's Damn. a different story. This is what they won't this say. This is what they won't say, or is it? Y'all make me feel you like Cedric the Entertainer in in the barbershop. Like I that's how y'all make is, me feel. I just episode. said damn. All I said was damn, and this is what they won't say. Like honestly, I'm gonna start being like, oh, I can't talk about it. No, I can't talk this about is it. what they and won't fuck say. Fuck niggas. That's what I'm about to start doing. Like Cedric yeah. the Entertainer. This like, is because this is what they won't say. You this a smile. Thank you. Go ahead. So, I think everybody is kind of saying the same thing. Well, I'm going I'm to let you talk because you still didn't get to say. Okay. But I think so far, it's how you feel in that moment. Like, you can know you're cute right now, but if you went out, if you went to the house and put on that new pair of J's with a button up, I'm not saying she just bought a new pair of sneakers for anybody out there listening that might have a problem with it. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, she probably got <laughs> But you know, if you go in your closet right now, put on that button up and step out in them khakis, then you're going to be like, oh, bitch, you doing it. Like, you know, it's a move. Go ahead. What's hey, and just in case. Uh, Upper management? The Carolina, the Carolina, um, <laughs> Wait, the, Carolina J, the Carolina threes come out. Is that a message? Yeah, just, to me? Huh? Nah. For the sneakerheads. Everybody got uh, fucking Carolina sneakers. Uh, no. Don't worry about my snitching ass door. Just come in. We know. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. So, oh, I forgot your Carolina thing. So, anyway. What? What's wrong with Carolina? Everything. What? <laughs> okay. 
Any other questions? That's right. So, to me, me personally, huh? when it comes to I do. To me personally, when it comes to me being sexy, we still looking for a drink for it, y'all. Not drink for it, walking out the door right now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I drink for it. Quit before she got hired. Yep. I don't even know I'm sexy until somebody actually tells me that. I never look at myself and be like, you know damn, why? I'm sexy. You know why? Why? It's a man thing. Is you it? You just said yes. you're sexy all the time. Yeah, he said we can dress. No, I'm saying like it's a man thing. Because like, yeah, I feel like I'm sexy all the time. However, I wear sweatpants, t-shirt, athletic shit all the time. Right. It's more so like the can't beat me. for men oh. for men we don't get dressed we don't get addressed until we're dressed. Right. So every day I could wear a t shirt, some jeans, fresh sneaks and it's like, oh okay. But until I put on something that's gonna catch your eye, you're gonna be like, oh, uh, Hey, oh yeah, you yeah, uh -huh. yeah, you just got moist. <laughs> yeah. Got moist. It's I hate moist. that word. I really that is a, hate that word. Of all the word of your a super extensive vocabulary, you don't like the word moist. I don't like the word moist. You know, you're the third person I met that doesn't like yeah, that word. I think moist is not a female word. I don't but like it. it. Moist is just yeah. a word it's for wet. him. Okay, you said what? It's wet. Yeah, I moist. Mean, that just nah, it's a synonym. Not everybody just gets wet. Some people get more. more <laughs> it's, like, it's like some dew or something. Like, like I can't. Yeah, <laughs> moist. You're, moist. Yeah. you're not really wet. However, you're getting wet. Like they do like damn clothes. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Go in. Yeah. Oh. Uh. So okay. So we have yeah, established. We established our personal <laughs> definition of sexy. So now you on the street and you walking by. Somebody. Confidence. What's sexy to you? Confidence. Confidence. Okay. When you see when you when when you see a person, no matter for me, no matter what sex it is, um, and they they are confident in themselves, that like that's sexy. Okay. You know what I mean? You might be a real nigga at heart. See, told you. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Me? I'm right there with confidence. Like I think that is one of the sexiest things anybody can have on them. Um. If you if you're confident and also if you're um genuine personality yeah, personality, personality like I'm not looking at like I'm really like looking at what you have on yes that's a bonus to me I don't really care but exactly <laughs> what you have on is a bonus but if you're you know you just got that personality you got that aura just something Wait, you got me did, like what did you pour in this something party? that make me something that make me want to look like Girl, wrestling. I was in here staring at you the whole time. I'm trying to <laughs> <laughs> Something that make me look like the rest of these niggas on this podcast be like, what? What's hey, the rest of these niggas on the podcast? Like, like, right light skin? You not doing it right? Am I not? Like, no. no. Open your eyes, Ray Charles. <laughs> 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 uh, that looks scary. My point is, <laughs> my point is, is if you have that like in you, just something that makes me like, damn, like okay. It was nice to meet you. Well, you know what? I, you know what? Like what? Like I always think about it. People say like they always like, oh, like I wasn't attracted to her like at first. Like not attracted, but like it wasn't because she was super pretty or whatever. It's like man, like I'm sorry, but somebody gotta look good to you for you to even look that way. That's what we live like, off the people, world of. Yeah, people say that. People yeah. like people always say no. like it was her personality. Now, granted, their personality might have kept you because you got you could be a beautiful girl and have the ugliest soul. You know what I mean? But that attraction of how pretty that person is, whether it's what they had on or how they look, is going to get you to look at them first and even start a conversation with them. Facts. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. But that's, why, that's why websites like Tinder exist. You are not... Tinder's a lie, goddamn. You are not looking at somebody and saying, hmm... No. I bet she has a nice personality. No. Swipe right. No. The fuck you are. Look at those titties. Uh. Exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah. When Damn, I was, she when got I was ass. On the, uh, right? Oh my god, I 
Someone's looking at how they're describing themselves in their pictures. Well, actually, no. The descriptions are funny. No, I ain't gonna lie. I read descriptions. I used to read the descriptions. This is funny. That's cool. However, that's not why I'm here. (laughs) That's not why I'm here. Well, that's not what Tinder's for. Tinder's not. I mean, do people find love on Tinder? Probably, but like Tinder, like I don't. I went on Tinder day. I never really. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Know. I will never do that. Tinder, again. I feel like it's for you know the other people. It's not really for us. I don't really like Tinder. You, do you? The number one question I got asked on Tinder is, "Is this really you, nigga? It gotta be somebody like." No, you know, catfish. 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 Is it your face or is it this? I mean, I might have duck lips. I might have my boobs out. I yeah, don't know what you're that big. Um, like, my eyes do not be that big. You are really trying. You about to show what? Show what? He's really trying it. My eyes don't be that. Look, I okay. found I found friends on Tinder and stuff like that. You're right. They don't be that big, but they be like. Did I just find friends on Tinder? Oh, that should be the picture that our character should just click on. Now, if you. Oh, mm-hmm. go to CD's media. Y'all will also see that he is an avid dog lover. So tell us about your oh, your dog. Yeah. Your damn dogs. And they're bullies. Oh. It's a difference. Sorry. Guess my vocabulary isn't all correct huh? all at They're all? bulls and bullies? Yeah, it's a difference. Okay, is so it? tell us about them. Yeah, let's let's talk about that. Right. So <laughs> you know, I'm not no dog aficionado, however, there's a difference between Pit bulls and bullies. Pit what? bulls don't get no bigger than maybe 60 pounds. Mm-hmm. Bullies are bigger than 60 pounds. Is that them big ass, like, cotton knees and ones that be walking around? Thick in the like, neck? Like, this and shit? Bullies. Is it like football players? Bullies. Are they a breed of pit bulls? <laughs> <laughs> like you really suck on this. There you go. There you go. So, like, they, they got the so, same DNA, but you not You have, the you have, uh, you know how you have linebackers mm-hmm. and you have DBs. CD played football in Brighton. Just right, to put that out there. Mm, let me see. Yeah, we're mm. back. We'll go back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, had, I had to change my yeah. reference. Mm. Power forward in the center. You know how you have power forward <laughs> yeah. and you have small forward. Yeah, yeah, same, same, but one is a little bit bigger than the other. The same position. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Boom. So, so what are your bullies' names? What are your bullies' names? Um, Smoke Boots and Baby D. You have Baby three. D. Smoke Boots and yeah. Baby D. Like Baby D off no, the that's, Friday? That's three at the house. Two. How many you have total? I don't pit two. You do three of them, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why you say that like? I don't know, bro. Because you know how I be doing. I'm weird. So I said three of the like two. I just asked if you had more, I think. Yes. Okay. I have four. Total. Total. Okay. okay. And and you have so pit and so you have a pit and a Yes, bull I have a pit bull terrier. Oh, that's perfect. And I have an American bull. Yeah, we just jump subjects like an angel. No, we're talking about his dogs. Well, we're talking about his interests because I we know. only had him for one episode. I Boats know. and hoes. Hey. Boats and hoes. I just watched that the other night. What's that? I never seen Step it. Step Brothers? Yeah, never seen it's it. It's white people. You should know. All right. Let's the see. only part I've seen is Step Brothers when they said they were friends and they made that all like bad. And she always calls me white, and I really don't understand why. I don't call you white. First of all, yes, all right. we used to hang out. We used to be friends. Okay, so <laughs> Rebecca. <Not> Becky, <laughs> Becky, <laughs> with the eye. So with Becky eye. with an eye, gay gay, gay, gay. gay. First of all, her name is Becky with an eye, gay gay. 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 Her name's Becky. Second, <laughs> but second yeah, of all, out, we were all friends. Second of all, I mean, y'all were white too. This I'm is like, why you know, I, I call like Becky. Oh, no, this is why I call Becky white. I'm on the phone with Becky earlier on my lunch break, and Becky's like, oh, is it cold outside? I was like, oh, it's a little bit breezy. She was like, oh, I'm headed to work. I'm about to put on these basketball shorts. Bitch, it's March. Put on some sweatpants like a normal black person. It doesn't matter, Annie. It's March. This is why you're on that board. <laughs> <laughs> see? Even CD's like, well, see, CD is football. like this. Look, I play basketball and softball next. Basketball and softball with indoors. the white girls with the tight softball shorts that go outdoors. outdoors. So in what season? Right now, softball's right now. In what season is this? It's still out. Apparently, still the winter. Yes, mm, it, it is, is the winter. Technically, but yes. what season? I mean, is fucking it, soft? spring, but you yeah. know spring. But still, football is in what? The summer. Fall. Fall. 
Is that the fall. August? That's the summer. It starts in August and ends with. In fall, but still, in winter. winter. Yeah. It's winter. 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 Yeah. What is wrong with your season skills? Yeah, What's know. happening? That's the third quarter. Third quarter is fall. So, okay, well, softball starts now and it's still. Spring. No, it's not. Winter it's the and winter. spring. The little nigga didn't see his shit, right? Free, free, free. First free of all, that's the groundhog. Oh, oh ground my ball. God. <laughs> what is wrong with the earth? First of all, this is this is Raleigh, North Carolina. Right so now, today it could be fifty-five, and tomorrow it'll be ninety-five. I don't give right? a fuck. That's why niggas is walking around with pneumonia and the coronavirus. And the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Black folks don't get that. First of all, you will if you wear shorts in March. <laughs> no. Yes, no. yes, fuck you will. No. Yes. I don't get that because I hang out with my Look, <laughs> my mama, my grandma, okay. her mama, I everybody then told me what clothes you wear. And look, I'm I still the type of person out. where I put my winter clothes in the clo- I mean, like in totes, and then bring them back out when it's winter, and then put my summer clothes in totes and bring them back out when we it's summer. I just no, I just apparently that's out. not a thing anymore. People keep the same clothes it's out. For, it's not that. <laughs> I don't want to get sick. I just want to say I'm going to edit this episode. It's going to be difficult. I'm a year-round wearer. I have cheese. I have all-purpose clothes. All my clothes are all-purpose. Yeah, Can I wear this today or tomorrow? Because I wear a button-up in the winter. Can I wear this shirt in June? Or can I wear it in December? Where am I losing? Okay. I don't know. Well, yeah. Well, let me... Wait, wait, wait. Let me explain something. Let me explain something. Courtney is a little school. Courtney's old school, okay? Right. My mother used to do the same exact thing. Where you take your winter clothes. My Dia does it too. too. Where you take the where you take your winter clothes, you put them in totes. Put, or you take yeah. Excuse his me. His shorts are his winter clothes, apparently. You take his summer clothes and put them in totes during the winter and start the third. Once once the season switch, you take out your summer clothes and you put your winter clothes in totes. Listen. Yes, I am an ex athlete. Yeah. All athletic clothes. All y'all yeah. athletic niggas for some reason wear baller shorts all year round. You just put Doesn't matter what sport you play. Nope. Because he played basketball and football, right? Ran track. And ran track. Right. But for some reason, her too, wore baller shorts all year yeah, round. Like and them damn Nike flip flops with I socks. I never had a Nike flip flops. Because our blood's different. <laughs> We bleed different. Maybe. Y'all, Y'all bleed light, light skin. <laughs> I don't I'm light skin and I don't believe in that shit. Y'all bleed. Y'all but believe you want to have some oil, bro? Right? I don't know. I okay. It. It's all Can I have some? I want to put it on my skin. You. Does it have coconut in it? Are you allergic to coconut? Yeah, yes, I am allergic to coconut, which is why I'm asking. You don't want that one, then. Nope. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> and, uh, what did you put in this cup? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I know that, but I just had to. You're going to be hyped yeah, and drunk at the same it. time. It's too late now. You, you you're committed. No, it don't really matter. You're committed. No, you're good. I was just... You're I committed. Didn't, I, didn't do, I didn't do copy your ass or anything. No. <laughs> I would hope The big bop, book, bop, book. You see, the mill. You see, what she did was she put the... She put the alcohol in the cup. Then she added the pudding. Bop. How many right, niggas so does it take to get through one podcast episode? Okay. Well, apparently. <laughs> <are. laughs> so, CD, I know you said it's been a while since you've um, recorded your show. Is that something that you could talk about? Have you guys released episodes yet? Or Yeah, man. It's called um, Respected Opinion. Me and my homeboy, Eric Davis. I like that. We highlight local vendors, people, entrepreneurs who are doing things, and we just talk about you know, real life shit. Real life mm-hmm. shit. Real life shit. I'm so also about to do a podcast, podcast as well. Just probably just me and guests that I have on who are going to talk about. I'm going to highlight pretty much issues with men, like black men, or talk about things that should. Can be discussed or should be discussed, pretty much. Between black men and like, or just. I mean, like black men mainly is for black men. However, it's going to be for everybody. Right, right, right. Yeah. Cool. So funny story. Listen. Mm. All ears. So when I first had the 
ideas to start what they won't say. Mm-hmm. I reached out to your boy CD. Say what? Say word. Mm-hmm. So I was like, hey, yo, CD, I know you kind of funny on the low. So or, um, oh, how you feel about being a part of a podcast? And what did I say? You said you were interested. And then what happened? And I was super hyped. What happened? Then I sent CD the survey questions no, that he never filled out. That's where you're wrong. Did you fill out the survey questions? He I did not. I didn't get no survey questions. It probably Ooh. was too damn long. Don't it worry. was eight questions. Don't worry, I'll wait. It was eight questions. I didn't get Hey, any. Becky. With the I. Gang, gang. Did no, you have like, go ahead. I don't know how questions. I sent them. Don't, yeah. don't worry. I can tell you. you. I can tell you how you sent them. <laughs> you didn't send them. Hey, look, check this out. I'm the type of person that's We adopted Becky. No, I don't like, I don't even like, like, I don't want to fill out a fucking application them. for a job. Like, either you want me or you don't want me. Why well, I got to fill out all this Pretty shit much. to say? You're hired. So, yeah. wait, 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 wait. What? Okay, no. so look, I no, can't yes. find them right now, but I'm going to post them to our social media when I do fucking find them, okay? No, I don't like, I don't like, like, I don't like to, like, part time. First of all, I would like, like to point out the fact that this shit is advanced as hell, man. Is that Domino's or the pizza? Like, it's probably Papa John's. Like, they on the way. Yeah. I'm really like bothered. I'm about to feed you. Watch me, watch me bring the Papa John's person in. The, no, I'm not going to do that. If I could, though, I would. Anywho, so I sent CDs, CDs, no, these questions. You thought these questions. CD, you thought these <laughs> CDs questions. Because you can't, you can't find it. Go to Facebook. This is, your phone. this is your phone. <laughs> this is your phone, not mine. Just so that people know. Grand Don't worry, I'll wait. Anyway, so oh, I sent CD these questions. You thought you sent CD these questions. I thought I sent CD these questions. And then when I didn't hear it, that's 2015, so I'm okay. so, <laughs> so when I didn't hear from him, <laughs> when I didn't hear from him, what took place? I posted something on social media. What was this? Did I not post something on social media saying well, that I, I was looking for co-hosts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day I'm going to be on it. So I did. And then that's how we ended up with myself, Kev, and UA. I almost fucked that up. <laughs> Y'all know my name is Malik by now. I and so. then, yeah, because I called you Malik like seven times last, last okay. episode, but whatever. I'm UA. So, oh, then, wait. Just in case y'all forgot, UA stands for unconscious atmosphere. Okay, continue. So, then what happened was Kev ended up starting his own thing, and then I reached out to you again. So, then I reached out to That's CD right, again, watch. and he said again that he was interested, and then I never heard from him again. Why? It would be nice and to And then, have a that's the how we got back. What I... Bex? I can't call you Bex. I didn't say shit. Hold on. Her name is Becky with the I. Gang, gang. gang, gang. Hold on, gang, shit. (laughs) And I think if he came on at this point, he would be the smoothest member ever. Bex what? I I, I aspire to be more like CD. I want to be like, He could not come on as a guest host anymore, for the record. He'd be like, I just pointed out your contradictions. At the end of the episode, Becky and um, UA are going to look at him and be like, oh, so we'll see you next week? Watch, because they like... We will see you next week. (laughs) Okay, UA, stop it. Are you coming back to the show? That's so aggressive. Anytime. I don't like you talking like that. I don't like it either. It's not you. Be authentic. I like you. Your wife doesn't divorce you for talking like that. Why you gotta bring my wife into this? Wait. She might like you with the deeper voice. She don't. Look at her. <laughs> Why you gotta point out that she right there? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna point out that she right there? She had to down on her head now. She was so quiet. Like we... It don't even matter. I'm calling everything out. Y'all wanna call me out? I'm calling everything out. All right. You didn't call you out. You called yourself out and you got in trouble. <laughs> Moving on, so like these niggas need to do. One more time, if we want to reach CD mm-hmm. and get some of CDs, if you want these goddamn oils, if that right. shit won't grow, let me know. Is that your tag, 
This is the loudest he's been on the show. Hey, that'd be really good. Though. Right. If your no shit don't grow, grow. Said, let, let me know. know. I said a lot of wild shit. But anyway, no, nah, for real though, if you ain't, you know, if your shit itch or, you know, your shit won't grow, let me know. Let me know. Nah, for real though. I got about four yes. different um, bases. I have a coconut base, mm-hmm. a castor oil, a black castor oil, and an almond oil. Oh, shit. So each one is pretty much a little bit thicker than the other. You got the hiccups? You ain't growing no more. But anyway, you got the hiccups. Um, I got a coconut oil. Since you allergic to coconut oil. That wouldn't be good. Now you know a little bit. But that's like my lightest oil, the lightest base consistency. Mm-hmm. Um, you can use that on your skin and on your head, all that good stuff. And then I would have like an almond oil. You might be able to you allergic to almond. I'm not. She can do almonds, so we're gonna get her on the almond plan. The almond. The almond. The almond plan. <laughs> the almond plan. Yeah, the almond plan. I love it. Five nine nine a month. The almond is a little bit thicker than the coconut, but but not as thick right, as the castor oil. Right. However, you can't. It's like the smell is a little bit masked with the almond. Okay. And then you have the castor oil and the black castor oil. My black castor oil would be the thickest. And that's for all you dry head hoes out there. Oh, wait, I need, I need to look. Damn, can we please bring him back? Can we keep him? I, I think we need to keep him. No puppy we talking him? about. Can we keep him? He ain't no bull. What you say, dog? He ain't no bully. It was no a bully. fucking compliment. But the way you said it, damn it. it. I'm t- <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, I would like that. Yeah, oh, do you make your oils? You do you make your that. your oils like as ordered, or you have like a batch sitting there waiting? See, I carry oils like pretty much just so if I come across you and you be like, oh yeah, well yeah, I got some right here. Right, right, However, right. if you tell me that you on a scale of one to ten, your shit's a seven, and you you clarify what you need it for or what right. you want it for, I'll make it just for you. Okay, cool. So I have a question. Talk to me. Do you do consultations or is just like you let niggas out here decide what's best for them? Do you be like, nigga, your skin, your hair dry as hell? It's more so I ask you what you need. I ask you what your conditions are. Like if on a scale of ten, how dry is your hair? Do you need it for a certain thing? What are you particularly using it for? Because if I don't necessarily use the oil already, I can do the research, find out what you need, boom. Okay. Which which one do you use for yourself? Me? Mm-hmm. Um, I've used the coconut oil just because it's light and on the go. Like, right. see, I smoke That's a dope weed, question. right? So, <laughs> even if you smoke weed, right? Mask all that shit for real, for real. Yeah, and that's your lightest oil, the coconut. What oil. was yeah. the sound effects for? What? Yeah. That's weed smoking. No, <laughs> yeah, apparently that's what only, that's only niggas that's what we know what he said. Like he yeah. legit had a whole conversation with them. We don't know what they said, but he they know what they said. <laughs> well, maybe you should smoke weed. <laughs> yeah. Y'all don't smoke weed. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah. Anyway, yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so our um, moving on. So, mo- UA. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna start with her. So, UA has said that he would like a guy, another guy, mm-hmm. to be on set with us. Mm-hmm. So, I think you guys should link up mm-hmm. after this episode and talk about what that could look like. Because mm-hmm. this right here. All you gotta do is tell me when to pull up and not. So, our, com- our schedules are complicated. <laughs> you have to be on this, this damn calendar that I ain't posted. Oh, it's cool. I'm off again. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, that sounds good to me. Every week? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that worked for us. <laughs> me and UA have the most difficult schedules because of we work. work Saturday. Yeah, we work I work every other weekend. Work. Okay, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Well, you have your people call my people. Okay. We, we can be people. Upper management yeah, call. Yeah, we can do what? Yeah, we got upper yeah. management call. Yeah. 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 Shout so, out to other management. So, Becky, what I Mission. Mission. Okay. Gang, gang. Whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> I love that. 
Do you have anything on your heart that you want to talk about? Hey man, I'm just tired of fucking working. <laughs> okay. We, we about to close this out anyway. <laughs> right. So <laughs> this com this. This topic was a little bit. We gonna have a topic. What was the topic? There was not. There was. It was about CDs oils, and then we just went to fucking. Right. We went Let's that way. Then we went that way. We went from his. Like I said, I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this episode. No, edit it. Sometimes it's not editable. That's too much. I'm not enough because we we got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff I need to take out. Yeah, just take it out. Who you take this shit out? Shit real this shit no, that's how them. that's how we were at first nah that's how it's supposed to be we can't say nothing about it. nothing you know nothing about what the, that that thing we talked about earlier just say it now you can't edit it i can't it say out. it now because i'm not i don't want to edit it out. i just want to be like that thing we talked just about just tell us after this i don't know what we talked about and once y'all get our premium we snapchat about a lot. we talked about y'all can talk y'all can hear about the things that we did not talk i'm we, just kidding we talked what like i said we were all over the place with the exception of being actually on CDs oils. Mm -hmm. CDs. CDs oils. oils. So for CDs. next no, episode. I'm successful. <laughs> successful. I just want to be. I just hey, you remember, you remember uh, Lauren Young? Excuse me? Who? Wait. Lauren Young? We, 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 we trying to close out. So you guys, we will definitely see you guys next time because this episode has been all over the place. So as you know, leave your comments, concerns, questions. Not that we really care about changing anything we but really do. we're authentic so we're gonna do what we do um but leave those below and remember to like share post repost visit us every week and yeah. we'll see you guys next time Bless you. oh <laughs> corona <laughs> in the meantime it's your girl courtney lynette <laughs> I'm you No, come back. In the meantime, it is your girl, Courtney Lynette. This is UA. Your girl, Becky with the I. Gang, gang. gang. Whole lot of gang shit. Mm -hmm. It's your boy, CD, S double E, D double E. And if y'all like CD on this episode, comment below because I'm torn between a rock and a hot hard place on whether I should um, hire him or not. We got to talk to other management, though. Other yeah. management, shout out to mm -hmm. management. Bitch, you ain't got to say that on the camera. You, you, you the one who said it. <laughs> anyway. Until so, next time. Bye, guys. Peace out.